Aboriginal family is so closely knitted because they've been like that and raised like that all their lives. Look, I'm a Yorta Yorta person, okay? I was born in Daniloqua and, um, and uh, Dorothy's a Wiradjuri woman, born in Leeton. When we moved here in June 1974, there had been other Aboriginal families already living in Wagga, um, possibly about seven families. That's when the Aboriginal Family Resettlement Scheme started, and families were moved here to Wagga from all over New South Wales. We needed to establish um, support organisations for Aboriginal people. Wiradjuri tribe elder Violet Honeyset gave speeches with Mrs. Myself and others in the community. Mrs. Honeyset, uh, she played a significant role in being on the committee of the resettlement group, welcoming families to Wagga. She was, in fact, the the inaugural uh, resettled person, uh, family, her along with uh, the uh, with the Vincents. Aboriginal family is so closely knitted because they've been like that and raised like that all their lives. What one hasn't got and the other's got will I share. They've always shared and always helped one another. Whether you're related or not, they'll all come and see if you have any problems or if they can solve anything for you. That's the good thing about it, you know. My mother and I think there was about uh, seven of us at the time because some of the families growing up made a life of their own and worked in different places so we moved over here and I've already left school at the time and had no job over in New Ablong so we moved here. Mum and him had made a mind up to, to move over to Wagga to better the children's education and to better themselves the lifestyle and that. We were the second family here. Uncle Laurie was the first. Um, and that was another reason why Mum came over too. So Uncle Harry and his children and our children could be together and be supportive of one another when they went to school. And that. We just got to move, that's all we said, you know. They must have come around with a, a sheet of paper or something and asked us if we wanted to you know, move and everything. Mum and Dad chose Wagga and then like their families more or less followed on. That's why there's um, people mainly from Lake Agelio that, that lives here. I'd go back because my people up there, I must have plenty of people up there. Mum come home because my grandfather died. And mum's the oldest out of seven, so she come up here and obviously I followed. or well, she relocated with me and I just stayed here ever since. We could roam around, do anything we wanted. We spent a lot of time down at the gullies, um, just doing silly things, making out while hunting, looking for rabbits, riding motorbikes. Uh, spent a lot of time at the golf course, not playing golf, but in the dams, looking for golf balls. And we did that on a regular occurrence, just to get a bit of money, sell the balls. Winnie's mother and my husband's mother, they were two sisters. Winnie was down, down here, we came over one day and give her a visit, then I said to myself after, oh, I lo rather like Wagga. And I said to the kids, oh, we might move. Although Sonny, my son, didn't want to. And then Sonny got into football, which was good. Because I always say sports is good for children. Keeps them out of trouble. My art's always there at Menindee. But seeing I've been in Wagga for 30 years almost. Well, I suppose Wog is my home now. Home is where you make, I think, and we've made this place our home now. Oh, we just might like the place. <coughs> we got a shift, and that's it. We said, oh, well, we'll go to Wogga Wogga. <laughs>